Good morning all. It's day two in Edinburgh. Um, and I'm heading to get some breakfast. And then I think I'm gonna go out to Carlton Hill, I think it's called. Um, and apparently there's good views of the city. So we're gonna see what that's like. It's not raining. It looks like it should be, but it's not. So that's good, that's a bonus. And then after that, I've got the Harry Potter walking tour, which starts at 10.30. It says it goes for two hours, which is quite a while for a tour. So I'm excited for that. And then after that, I'll probably go to the museum. And then after that, I don't know. Oh, I can't, I want to do the ghost tours tonight, actually. The bus, like, like ghost bus tour. So, see how that goes. I haven't got tickets yet, but, oh. And they just got taken out by a runner. But um, yeah, see how we go. You know how I just said it wasn't raining? Well, it's been about three minutes and now it's raining. So that didn't last very long. Okay, just noticed there's no R. I think it's Carlton, not Carlton. But, um, it says that's the entrance, but don't know about that. I do not know about that. You can see like all the like mountain ranges and that in the background. No, in the background? Yeah, in the background. What are really background? Far away. You can see the mountain ranges far away. <laughs> um yeah it's really nice i'm gonna take a couple little clips and i'll insert them i'll take some little photos as well but um yeah there's that uh ocean lake thing that we saw yesterday from edinburgh castle um, i can't remember what it was called but it was something strange <laughs> Okay, I've made it to where I need to be for the Harry Potter tour. I'm like half an hour early though. Hopefully you can hear me because there's like lots of buses and cars driving past. Yeah, I'm a bit early, so I'm just gonna sit here and wait. This is where we're supposed to meet. I'm literally right, right on it and no one else is here, so. And I feel like people are gonna be like wearing Harry, po Harry Potter things. So I feel like that'd be easy to spot, but I don't, have any Harry Potter merch so well I've just got the rainbow scarf on <laughs> so yeah just a recap of the tour so first stop is Tom Riddle's grave and then um, you go to Victoria Street which is what Diagon Alley was inspired by um, Royal Mile which I also think there was some inspiration of something behind that, I don't really know, but I'll find out. And you get sorted into your house, and I think on the, along the way there's like a quiz, and you like earn points for your house. So I'm really excited for that. Um, 
and hopefully they say I'm a Ravenclaw because if, if they don't then I know that they're lying. <laughs> Hi, this is my first time doing a voiceover so I hope it's good. Uh, but yay! Uh, they put me in Ravenclaw so very very happy there. Okay, so then after we got sorted into our houses, we headed down a couple of roads to Greyfriars Graveyard. Uh, so that's the graveyard that the Triwizard Cup graveyard is inspired by that we see in the Goblet of Fire in the fourth movie. Now I didn't get a close up of it, but you can see just on top of that grave there where the arrow is and just on top of this one here as well. That is the cup that inspired the Triwizard Cup. And off we go. Do, 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 do. Um, and now we are heading to a couple grave sites that inspired the names of some of the characters. So this one that you can see here right now is the grave site that inspired the name of McGonagall. Okay, so after McGonagall, we then headed to see Tom Riddle's grave, uh, the grave that inspired the name Tom Riddle. Yes, it's the very famous grave. Uh, which we'll look at a little sound oh, no. Perfect Joe! Oh, it's the big one! Wow! It's the reason why many of you may well be here. Come in, get nice and close. Make sure that you can see all this glitter at the bottom. Yeah, this is another famous grave. And roses! Now, they are a recent addition by someone who the Slytherins among you might understand. The rest of us are questioning big time because this is the grave uh, that a lot of the Slytherins amongst you might get excited about. Yes, your most famous Dark Lord himself. Yes, this is the Riddell grave of Greyfriars Kirkyard. The Riddell grave of Greyfriars Kirkyard. We've got Tom Riddell Sr., Tom Riddell Jr., and we've got these Riddells who no one cares about, and that's why it's in terrible condition. But Tom Riddell And Sr. on the grave, it's spelt Riddell, not Riddle, and that's because in the Chamber of Secrets, when Tom Riddle rearranges his name into I'm Lord Voldemort, if it was spelt Riddell, there would be an extra L left over. And this is the grave that inspired the name Mad-Eye Moody. Kind of severe, boggy marshland, swampy marshland is what Snape means. So we've got severe, boggy marshland, the idea being got across here very deliberately, always deliberate meaning in J.K. Rowling's names in the Harry Potter universe is that when you are with Severus Snape, you're standing on a severe, swampy area, you're not steady on your feet, you don't know where you are. City. Yes, this is to the models of Edinburgh Victoria Street. Or to you, Harry Potter super fans, you might start to recognise it. We must say welcome to Diagon Alley. Yes, indeed. And that's a beautiful street and one of the inspirations. Bagpiper. It was so good. I put a couple little coins. I don't even know what, how much I put in because I don't know how much the coins are. And I, couldn't, I didn't have time to 
like read how much they were. It was probably only like, maybe like four pounds, I don't know. But um, yeah, he was really good. Um, I got very excited. So much so that I was, I ended up being behind everyone on the tour. I just wanted to listen to the bagpipes. <laughs> Guys, I'm getting flashbacks. If you know, you know. This actually made me laugh. I've never seen this before. It's a creature. It's a creature. It's not Dobby. <laughs> Guys, um, I'm really confused. I don't know how they got this like life-size version of my dog in this museum, but here's my dog. <laughs> it looks just like her. <laughs> about this in like year two or three and like generally thinking that it would impact your life. I remember learning about it. It was like this flower that like emits like a really rotten smell in like the Amazon forest or something. And there's only like a couple of them in the world or something. They're really rare from what I remember, but it was quite a long time ago. Yeah, I remember learning, oh my God. I wasn't expecting to see that. Anyways, <laughs> I remember learning about it. Um, and yeah, I forgot about them until I just saw that. Okay, so I just finished at the museum, it was really good. Um, but I found a place online I, I also walked past it, but I bought the tickets online. It's like um, an underground tour through like the underground tunnels here. So apparently there's like, they built tunnels like centuries ago and they like hadn't been discovered and now they're discovered and you can do tours there apparently. And like, I think your tour guides like dressed up as like a character and you meet like characters along the way. So I'm really excited. Um, but yeah, I think I'll do that um, instead of doing the ghost tour and then I'll just like go back to my hotel afterwards, probably get something quick like for dinner, just get some food really quick. Yeah, I'm going to uh, film some clips in there so hopefully it's good. I'm not too Actually, I'm not too sure if you can film in there. Um, if you see clips then I managed to get some, if not, uh, you know why.